So in question number two of this third exercise, we'll have to draw some rough sketches of a few set of questions given under question number two. So the first one is about a triangle with both line and rotational symmetries of order more than one. The second question is about a triangle with only line symmetry and no rotational symmetry of order more than one. The third one concerns about a quadrilateral with a rotational symmetry of order more than one, but not a line symmetry. And the fourth one is about a quadrilateral with line symmetry, but not a rotational symmetry of order more than one. So let us take these questions one by one and let us see what are the different diagrams we get for each of these questions. So the first question is about a triangle with line symmetry and rotational symmetries of order more than one. So this is only possible in case of an equilateral triangle where if we highlight the three line symmetries or the three lines which divides the triangle into equal halves. So these are those three lines and these are the lines which divides the triangle in three equal halves individually and if the triangle is folded about any of these lines we will see that the equal halves will coincide. So line symmetry for an equal collateral triangle is 3. Let us now see what we get in case of a rotational symmetry. Now in case of a rotational symmetry I have again taken the triangle here as a sequence. Let us mark the top part of this triangle using this blue point so that we can track the rotation of this triangle. So if the intersection of the three medians or the three lines passing through the vertex, three vertices of this equilateral triangle is considered to be as the center of rotation and if this equilateral triangle is rotated by 120 degrees in the clockwise direction to get an exact figure we'll get the next figure which is this and because of the rotation now the position of the blue dot will be here which will show that the figure the initial figure has been rotated and again if we consider this to be the center of rotation and again rotate this lateral triangle by 120 degrees so we'll again see in the next figure the position of the blue dot will be here which will represent a total of 240 degrees rotation from the initial figure. Now again if this figure is rotated by 120 degrees we will get back to the initial figure itself because that is where the blue tip is going to be where it is in the initial figure. So we can say that the rotational symmetry or the order of rotational symmetry. So the order of rotational symmetry for this triangle is definitely 3 because the triangle has been rotated thrice each time by an angle of 120 degrees to get the exact same figure every time. So for an equilateral triangle we have both the line symmetry and the rotational symmetry which is definitely more than 1 and 3 to be exact. Let us now see the next part of this question. So the next part of this question says that we have to draw a triangle with only line symmetry and no rotational symmetry of order more than 1. So that is only possible in case of this isosceles triangle for which this is going to be the line symmetry of this isosceles triangle where we see that these are the two equal parts of the isosceles triangle these two and this line divides the triangle into equal halves and if the triangle is folded about this line the two equal parts will coincide making this line as the line of symmetry. So we can say for this figure for this isosceles triangle the number of 
lines of symmetry is only one because that's what is given in the question and when it comes to its rotational symmetry if we again take this triangle so let me mark this part as blue so that it can help us track the rotation of the figure so this figure will have to you know rotate it by a total of 360 degrees in the clockwise direction to get to the next figure which is this and as we see the next figure the blue dot in the next figure will be exact at the same place as it is there in the initial figure making the order of rotational symmetry for this particular triangle to be 1. Let us now see what is there in the third part of this question. So the third part of the question asks us to draw a quadrilateral with a rotational symmetry of order more than one but not a line symmetry which itself which in itself is a contradictory statement because if a figure or a quadrilateral so I'll write it if a figure has or does not have a line symmetry which is given in this question if it if a figure does not have a line symmetry then we can conclude that it will not have a rotational symmetry as well it will not have a rotational symmetry as well So the converse of this statement is also true. So if the rotational symmetry is of order more than one, then there must exist a line symmetry for this particular quadrilateral. So let us now see what is given in the last part of this question. So in the fourth part of this question, it asks us to draw a quadrilateral with line symmetry but not a rotational symmetry of order more than one which is only possible in case of a trapezium where we consider this to be the line symmetry of the trapezium such that this trapezium has two equal sides so that these are the two equal sides and this line symmetry divides the trapezium in two equal halves and if the trapezium is folded about this the two equal halves will coincide so we can say for this particular figure the number of line symmetry is 1 based on the orientation of the figure. Now when it comes to its rotational symmetry as we see here we have a couple, we've taken a couple of trapeziums the same trapezium and let me just mark this point as the as the reference which will help us track, track the rotation of the figure and if we consider this point as the center of rotation so we'll have to rotate this whole figure by a complete rotation of 360 degrees in the clockwise direction to get to this figure where we'll again have this blue dot at this point which will represent the exact same figure as in the initial case so for this figure we can say that the order of rotational symmetry is equal to 1 which goes with the question because it asked us to draw quadrilateral with line symmetry but not a rotational symmetry of order more than 1. So this for this particular trapezium the order of rotational symmetry is exactly 1. So this is how we are going to answer questions the parts of these questions. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.